Right, okay, it's Wednesday the 15th of September. I've been asked how I get these lines so straight. And there's one tip that I'm gonna show you which will revolutionize your mowing technique. So stay tuned and I'll show you what it is. All right, so the first starting point is we've got a straight edge. So that's easy. We can get our starting point straight as a die, but then it's that second stripe, which is where you need to keep it straight so that every other stripe carries on in that straight line. So what we're gonna to do today is, we're gonna use this first as an extra bit of a hand, even though I had the best results I've ever seen with a lawn that I've seeded the other night. I still think we can get it a touch better. And if the grasses are all facing different directions, even though they're in this lawn, they're still like that. If we can get them all facing that right way, then the mower is going to follow over those lines in a straight line and, extra, and give you that extra crispy line that, that you desire. So let's put this in and let's double cut it with this. I'm going to go left to right and up and down and then we'll put the cylinder step back in and we'll show you how to get those straight lines. Right, for those of you who've never seen a machine like this before, for you newbies to my channel, I'm gonna show you how you put that in there. I've already removed the cylinder cassette. We've got two bolts here and here, which just unscrew with a five mil Allen key. And then there's four bolts over here. I've just removed two of those because it's easier and uh, that just slides, slides away like that and it allows you to get the cog in and out. So let's just put that in. I'm not gonna bother re-tightening them up or anything like that because I'll be taking it out straight away so I can't be bothered to be honest. You can for health and safety but my hands I'll do what I want with them. If they get chopped off, they get chopped off. So that's it. So what you would do now is just give that a tap, bolt those up, put your bolts in if you want, reattach this bar like so. Grass box on, simple. Right, so it's because it's a vertical attachment, you've got to drop the height of the cut down to more or less S. Just don't go too far down before you have a go. Just do it in increments so you're not going too low too soon and you don't make a bit of a mess. I mean, with the, you can't with this anyway because it's so uh, gentle, but um, you can just dig in a little bit and uh, if it's too low, it's just not got the power to cut through the soil. So you'll just make a big black like, kind of divot if you like. So I just drop it down to about one, give it a bit of a trial, see where I am and then just adjust it accordingly. So that's the first pass done, left to right. Uh, as you can see there, the grooving lines, or the grooming line, should I say, the groove, well, the grooves as well, I guess. Call it, well, grooving sounds better these days. I don't like the word grooming at all. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you can see the lines there. So let's do it up and down now, and then we'll get on with the cutting. But you see, now it's getting that AstroTurf look to it. And you imagine cutting that way now, all the grasses are going the right way taken out not a lot of stuff but enough stuff considering we only did it two weeks ago i'll show you the box after i finish but uh yeah let's get on with that i wish the sun would go in just for this exercise because the the shades caused me problems but can't have everything so let's get on with the open day never ceases to amaze me just how much we pull out literally that has all come out of them two passes can't believe it and we did it two weeks ago and look at what's in there so that's a good sign isn't it we've got you know if we look at that we're getting out all that necrotic growth there the yellow stuff that all that rotting foliage which would that was that's your thatch layer that and that what happens is that when that gets wet because all slimy and then you start getting algae growing on your surface and stuff like that in the bare patches so it's good we get that out and if we just have a look at the lawn now, see the nice vertical cutting line, so everything's going in the, the right direction. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut it left to right with the rotary, 
just to pick up any things that that didn't pick up because that isn't as good a picking up as the scarifying attachment and I don't want to go on with the scarifying attachment uh, over the top of the vertical because it was too much uh, stress on this lawn because uh, it's a little just a little bit damp and you can start doing damage especially where you turn so we'll just go over it with the rotary take up any of those tops or the tips of the grass and then we'll go up and down with the cylinder and I'll show you how to get those straight lines the number one tip cylinder cassette back in now for god's sake i've done this twice now since i've told you not to do it i've not raised this up twice and made a bit of a mess so you can't write the script for that one so i've already done it put it up to where i want to be and then i can always drop down if i want to you know so what i'm trying to say is i've got a bit higher and then i can drop it down so i'll just do a few test runs and then i'll do the first line up to the top and then i'll join you up the top and i'll show you where you go wrong and i used to go wrong and still do sometimes still human and that will be that number one tip on how to get that straight line. Right, this is where you'll go wrong if you don't pay attention to this little tip. When you come up here and you're about to swing round, the tendency is, is to, I'll just show you again. I won't start because you won't be able to hear me. You come up, and then you swing, and then you start mowing there. And already, you've started a curved line, which is then when you get down to the bottom, you look up, You've got, you start with a curve and then you come back up and then you've got to join that curve and then you end up with a curved line. So what you've got to do is you've got to stop the mower, you don't have to turn it off or anything. Get it in position so you're right plumb on that straight line and then you're good to go and that's that number one tip. I still do it at jobs, uh, here I don't because I've already got the lines all, already in situ so you just follow those but I have done that and still do it on jobs uh, when I forget but that is how you, how you get your line dead straight. So we're good to go for that second line. You do need strong forearms, I think. I've got strong forearms, so that's how I keep them straight, especially when I've gone that way as well, because that nap's gonna throw me about. So you've constantly got to be going like this to counteract it. Uh, because we've got the lines going in the long direction and that's the more dominant line, it is a lot easier. So let's get this more started and we'll get those lines in. comes to an end now what I did tell you is I was going to show you another tip on how to get your lawn line dead straight if you don't have an edge to work off now what you've got to do is you've got to look at something in the distance now this is something Gwyn Williams taught me at my school college because when I first used the uh, cylinder mower in the like when we were trying them out I was like a banana because I'd never used one and I didn't have the strong forearms then so what you've got to do is you've got to pick a target in the distance and you're not to take your eye off it just keep zoomed in on it don't blink. I know it's very difficult sometimes if the wind's blowing in your eyes like it is now, but it, you've got to do it and you'll do a straight line, I promise. It's easy. Just don't take, don't like zooming on a bird because you'll be all over the show. But zooming on something, it can be a leaf or anything, but just don't take your eye off it and you'll just naturally mow in a straight line. So that's the second tip to starting off that beautiful straight line, which then, if you then follow my number one tip, you'll just end up with beautiful straight stripes. And as you can see, these are pretty straight. What do you reckon? Marks out of 10. Comment below how, how much out of, out of 10 I get today. A little bit of a wonky spot up there, but it's just where the grass dips a little bit because it's not totally flat. But I'm happy with that. Looks like AstroTurf, which is what we set out to do in the first place. Customer will come home. I'll get extra, uh, extra kudos, I think, tonight. The other side's coming on 
a lot as well so i'm looking forward to completing that video and showing you the transformation on that side from where we were 10 days ago to where we are now tonight i'm not going to show you because i don't want to ruin it but it looks a lot healthier and a lot better tonight let me tell you so i'm quite uh, pleased with that so I'll leave you with that just for a second and that's why we do what we do. Don't forget, you can also follow me on Facebook, join my group, Daniel Hibbert Lawn Expert Geek Haven, where there's plenty of people just like you who want to learn and show the stuff that they've been doing. So you're quite welcome to join that. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, just make yourself known and I'll accept you in. Right, Thursday the 16th. This is actually an add-on from what I did just yesterday because I'm here now and I thought this is a good opportunity for me to show you. You know, I can't film a video if it's traffic or people today aeroplanes so um let's try again so i'm going to do that second tip for you where i say focus on something and i can show you where i was just going to leave it to your own devices but what better opportunity today than to do it here so let's crack on with that okay so i'm gonna focus on just let me show you my finger i'm gonna focus on that pot there from this direction but I'm going to film it from that end so you can see me walking towards it and then we'll come back down here and have a look and see how straight my line is all right Okay, so what have I done? Now, you look at that, I'm not gonna hide anything. I've gone really straight, and then just at that last minute, I just had to blink because the wind was blowing my eyes and the water in, and I've just lost it at that top end. But up until that, like, uh, second stripe away from the end, it's almost perfect. But what I can do is I can straighten that up, no problem, because I can just start a bit further in on that other side, uh, and then that straightens that up. So let's carry on that, good work, and uh, we'll put some nice diamonds in. Right, what do you reckon? I think that's worth an 8 out of 10 today, but because it's my channel, I'm going to upgrade myself to a 9 for two reasons. One, I chose the bumpiest part of the garden, so them undulations are going to send you off track. And secondly, I had the nap line from the last cut, which was that way. So that was sending me off as well. So I think a nine today. What do you think? I'll try and get a 10. If that was flat, I'd get a 10. 10 out of 10, maybe 11. But I think nine, I think that, that'll do me. So let's get on with the cylinder then. We'll cut that way. And we'll see if we can get them straighter by using the same technique of just looking at the direction of which you're going, of course, targeting on something. But also we've already got the stripe there from last time. So it's easy to, to guide because we've already got that bit of set in stone. So let's get on with it. So that's another video complete. There's not one more thing this time. I've got to move on to my next job. Lovely and stripy. Sun come out just in the right time. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.